Okay, so now, just for the hell of it, I'm going to reattach the, uh, I'm going to do it with the 30 amp fuse. I have these just laying around, so it's always, always a good idea to have fuses laying around. So, uh, let's go try it. Okay, so here we have that 80 amp fuse stuffed into the 120 amp fuse. Uh, okay, there's that. And here's how they came. Uh, this is from a 89 Honda. That when I go to the junkyard, I just pull out as many fuses, you know, um, from all different sorts of cars. So I have a bunch of them laying around, as you saw. Anyways, I'm gonna bend this, bend this down like this, as such. Oop! Don't have them touching. Okay, there you go. That was the blown fuse that I'm gonna separate. This was just, ooh, just for my test here. Okay. And as we saw here, this is a very low end. This is supposed to be a 120 amp fuse. I wanna, <clears throat> I wanna basically have fun with it now and just blow the fuse. I know it sounds stupid to most of you, but that's what fuses are for. They're to protect. Seeing this is a 30 amp fuse, where a 120 amp fuse is supposed to be, it's gonna blow with no consequences. So, okay, look, fuse didn't blow. Okay, I don't know if you heard that ticking, but. Stuff's happening all over, all right? Here, turn this on. Turn the uh, turn the lights on. Okay. There we go, lights are on. Fuse is not blown, okay? So now, I'm gonna turn this lights off. Now remember, I have an internally shorted alternator that uh that did this to my battery cable see as soon as i was touching it it was uh burning the cable it was basically welding it see all that that's crazy so now what i'm gonna do is just to show you guys that yes this thing is um the alternator is shorted i'm gonna blow the fuse now remember, it blew a 120 amp fuse, so blowing a 30 amp fuse is going to be no problem, okay? I just want to show you guys that I just hooked that up. You saw with it unhooked, the lights turned on, everything's fine. Now check this out. I'm going to touch the insulated part here. Some of you guys think I'm stupid for doing this, but I don't care. Okay, ready? Ooh, bam! Crazy. Look at that. I want to get a nice focus on here. As I told you, it's a 30 amp fuse where a 120 amp fuse was supposed to be. See that? It's burnt now. <sighs> no question about it. 100%. I have a internally shorted alternator. It was good before I did the engine swap. I guess it's just, uh... <sighs> it was just left out too long and, uh... You know, corrosion built up, whatever built up, it doesn't matter. It's shorted, no question about it, 100%. I confirmed that with my test anyway, so. Ah, isn't that crazy, guys? I just I just wanted to do this for the fun part. I think all this stuff is so much fun, so. If you call me dumb for doing it, I don't care. That's what I like to do. Come on, focus. There we go. 30 amp fuse is blown. And remember, this blew 120 amp fuse. There's absolutely no resistance to ground. It's a straight truck to ground. It's basically me jumping this for with a jumper cable, with a heavy gauge jumper cable. So, nice, huh? Pretty exciting. I also forgot, I did want to give a shout out to Scanner Danner. Um, you should check out his premium channel. It is amazing. That's where I learned to do this uh, electrical work. Without it, I would have no idea where to go from here. Absolutely none. I would not be making this video today if it was not for Scanner Danner and his classes. He gives a great rate. Uh, $10 a month for his premium channel and you learn so, so much. You guys should really check him out. Alright, see you guys later and uh, thanks again Scanner Danner.